thank you for your living inside of us. Thank you for your presence that is here in our midst, Lord. Lord, we just attach our faith to whatever you are doing today. Lord, we have not come to meet a person. We have come to meet the one true living God, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. You are the one that we have come to worship. You are the one that we adore. You are the one that we have come to have an encounter with today. Lord, we have not come off ourselves, be Lord, but you have brought us here with a purpose in mind, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that your purpose for today will take place in our lives. We yield ourselves to you, God. We yield ourselves. Lord, I give myself 100% to you, Lord. May not 1% of me not worship you today. May not 1% of me not be yielded to you today. Come, Holy Spirit, and have your way in me, in us. May you flow through and in, in through in and through us today, Lord. May your name be glorified. May your name be honored. May you be glorified, God, who inhabits in the praises of your people. May you come and inhabit in our praises. May our praises be a, ple a pleasing aroma to you, Lord. May they be worthy enough for you, the great God, the creator God, the God of the universe, the almighty God, the, the wonderful God to come and dwell in. Lord, the God who split the Red Sea, the God who made the huge galaxies, the God who made the, the great the mountains for you to come and dwell in our praises, Lord. May our praises be worthy for you, Lord. May you come. May they be like a pleasing aroma to you, Lord. Ho yadarasha dinakala. Barase, mende nini ke di kalabalasha, makio daraba na shande nini ke ya kalabarosa, redi kologo no no, mana na kalabarosha di ke iraki abalasa dara, meti kono mono she, makalabarosa di eshe di ne ke ya baba, labi asha dara se, redi no ki angala labarasa dara she, makina mangala labalasha ki e di rakalabarasa. Rico no mongo lo lo bolosha, makala la balasha di neke ya barabarosa da lake, mendi ni nike ya barasha. Lord, we invite you just to come and have your way in each and every one of us, Lord. Lord, drench us, fill us, Lord, mold us to be more, Lord, to be filled with you. We want to go from glory to glory to glory, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for you. We're not like the people of the world, but we are people who are created in the image of God. God, and yes, we have come Lord. to worship you. May you be glorified. May you be honored today. For you are the God of miracles. You are the God of wonder. You are the God of revival. And we know when you come, things happen. Things take place. And we thank you for you are here in our midst, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you, God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. God, is, is going to be an amazing night. Let your eyes and let your heart be focused on the one that you come to worship. The presence of the Lord is so awesome in this place. Oh, we love you, 
Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Yeah. You ready? Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. You shine Woo-hoo! Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you La Brote say None like you yeah, yeah. I got it greater I got it stronger Got you a higher than any other I got a healer Awesome and power I got Nothing can come before you. The one who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. The one who is with you is greater than anything around you. Hold the grip and no, no, that's not how it works. 
when the light comes, darkness disappears. Hallelujah. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's no one. <laughs> Not like you. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are Woo-hoo! higher than any other. Our God is the healer. The Sabro God is the healer. Our God is the healer. Our God is the healer. God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is the healer. Awesome and power. And if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who can ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then who could ever stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? We can dance for a bit. Do not. during worship you gotta get used to all right there is shouts of joy and victory and dancing and celebration before the king hallelujah so you dance and celebrate before the lord does not matter who stands next to you if you want to smack him that's okay that's a holy smack all right 
<laughs> All right, just be free. Just feel free in worship. Nobody is going to judge you. Nobody is going to condemn you. There, hallelujah. That is how we live. Amen. I care less what people think. Anyway, they're thinking you're already a loony. So it's not going to matter whatever they say because I'm crazy for Jesus. I don't know about you. People can say whatever they want. I am a crazy man for the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is how I live. And that is how I breathe. And that is how I walk. That's how I talk. That's how I worship God. Hallelujah. So let's do this. Baruch Adonai. Hello, hey, Israel. Adonai. Blessed is the Lord. Baruch Adonai. Hello, hey, Israel. Adonai. Blessed is the Lord. Min ha hola. But the whole land blazes his name forever and again. In ha whole land, but the whole land, blessed is the Lord, God of Israel. So let the nation sing and praise him, and Israel will say, Amen. Sing all the nations, Hallelujah. And Israel will sing. So let the nation sing and praise Him. And Israel will sing. Sing all the nations, Hallelujah. And Israel will sing. And Israel will sing. But look, I do not. Hello, hey Israel, I do not. Blessed is the Lord, Baruch Adonai. Hello, hey Israel, Adonai. Blessed is the Lord, Min Ha Ola, Vana Ola. Praise His name forever and again. Min Ha Ola, Vana Ola. Blessed is the Lord, the God of Israel. So let the nation sing and praise Him, and Israel will say, Amen. Hallelujah! Sing all the nations, Hallelujah! And Israel will say, Amen. So let the nation sing and praise Him, and Israel will say, Amen. Sing all the nations, Hallelujah! And Israel will say, Amen. And Israel will sing. The shout of the Lord is in the camp. Shout of the Lord is in our camp. That's the sound of victory. For the power's voice will rout the enemy. There's no weapon. Can defeat us here, we will try and Woo-hoo! poor devil then conquer us through the might of Adonai. So the walls in crash before us, hammers in on every side. They come crashing down when they hear the sound of the name of Bubble. Yes, you Hamashiach, help me for you're the mighty God. Yehovah, Nisi, raise your banner higher. The rock of our salvation, the Messiah, our righteousness. Adonai, my provider, Hushadah. When the shout of the Lord is in our camp, it's a shout of victory. For the power of His voice will rouse the enemy. There's no weapon can defeat us here. We will triumph on every side. For they come through the might of Adonai. Hammers in on every side. They 
they come crashing down when they hear the sound of the name of Babolado. Yeshua HaMashiach, hell get for your mighty God. Adonai Nisi, raise your bed up higher. The rock of our salvation, the Messiah, our righteousness. Adonai Yira, my provider. Hell should die. Hell should die. Hell should die. Hallelujah! He's the God of plenty. El Shaddai, amen. El Gibor, mighty God. Yeho, Yeshua HaMashiach. Om Brabada Sende. Just start speaking in tongues. Just praise Him. Just praise Him. Just praise Him. Oh my, just be led of the Spirit. Just be led of the Spirit. You don't have to stop when I stop. You don't have to start when I start. Go be with the Holy Ghost. Be led of the Spirit as you worship. As you praise, as you glorify, as you magnify, He is worthy of your praise. He is worthy of your praise. Oh, brande stigo bo shabaravanande siha. Oh, beleke ribo no bo rande. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we praise you. There is no weapon that can defeat you here. Oh, He is the secret place. He is the strong tower. He is in Him. You can take refuge. You can run into Him and you are safe. He is your hiding place. He is your great reward. He is your healer, your shadow. Oh, Baltos Tonomo. He is your glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Branda Stiga Borosha. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we praise you, God. It does not matter if Jericho wall is before you. It does not matter if a Red Sea is before you. It does not matter what type of darkness is before you. In the name of Jesus, everything come crumbling down. See, the Bible says that demons, they tremble. The very sorry part of our Christianity today is Christians tremble for demons. When demons are supposed to tremble for you. You're not supposed to run away from the demons. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee. It doesn't say, oh, the devil will follow you all the days of you. No, the grace and mercy will follow you. You are supposed to give a whooping to the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no weapon that can defeat you. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. It can't work. It can't work. Because of who is in you. Who is upon you. Who is with you. Just, just worship Him. Just praise Him. Just give Him glory. From the inside out. From the inside out. From the inside out. Let it go straight up. Hombre testigo roshamanase. Embo testiga borosambra badasendeke. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we magnify you, God. Oh, we exalt you, God. Oh, barene gere asheh. Hebo rosagaraba. Enemene arapa. Oh, nambra bado sorobo. Nashte geria bo sharaba. Oh, la baraba navasente. Oh, nama nava sanomon shanama. Oh, nambra ba nama shantara ba nava. There is no weapon that can defeat you here. There is no wall. There is no wall. There is no iron bar. There is no weapon that the enemy could ever use. See the see the weapons of the devil are carnal. But your weapons, the Bible says, are divinely powered. <laughs> His weapons are carnal. They rust out. They, they are, you know, in, in front of the divine power, they're useless. But you have weapons that are divinely powered. Hallelujah. 
we use weapons of divine power to to not uh, just let him go but to destroy the devil hallelujah and we snatch the souls from the pit of hell hallelujah oh rabana sango no mo sharaba oh rabana shango no mo sharaba na vaseke oh labaranda na mo sahana masaria the Bible declares, he who is within you is greater than he that is in the world. For you have overcome the one in the world because he who is in you is greater. You got to look inside of you sometimes. Don't look at the mirror. <laughs> look inside of you, the inner man. There is an inner man inside of you. There's a God who's living inside of you. You know, we say, oh, Jesus, I accept you into my heart, into my life. But, you know, at times we don't behave like that, right? It's as if Jesus really didn't come in. <laughs> Some of our behaviors, you know, I'm, I, I, I work in an insurance firm. I direct analytics for the firm. And um, we do a lot of customer feedback. There's one thing about what customers say. It's a whole nother thing about a customer behavior. Just because a customer said, you resolved my problem, it does not mean they're not going to call you back. <laughs> right? They may say, I've resolved your problem. But guess what? They just called me back. <laughs> a behavior and their feedback is not lining up. At times we are like that. We say, oh, Jesus, you come in my heart. Thank you. And something happens. And I'm like, oh, God. No. He who is in you is greater. Amen. He who is in you. The he who is in you has defeated death. Amen. He who is in you has defeated sin. He who is in you has defeated Satan. He who is in you has defeated the world. What are you worried about? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not chickens here. Hallelujah. We are eagles. Hallelujah. The lion of the tribe of Judah lives inside of you. You got to rise in power of God. Hallelujah. Arise and shine, for your time has come. The glory of the Lord, the Bible says, has risen upon you. You are not needy. The Bible says He has supplied all your needs. It doesn't say He will supply. It said He has supplied all your needs. Hallelujah. You know, you got to look at the word and your promises. Especially when we have some type of a contract. We read every word. Man, you know, I don't want someone to uh, put something in there and I sign it and it is binding contract, right? Because I was, I'm just working on doing a music video for a song and there was this contracting back and forth. And there are stuff in that place and that guy said, I own all the copyrights for everything. Dude, how can you own? I'm paying you a lot of bucks. <laughs> That's joint ownership, right? I read the contract before I sign it. I don't know about you. I read the contract. More than that, I read my New Testament. I read my Old Testament. The Bible declares he has settled his word forever, forever, forever. When the dumb devil comes to sell me a lie, I say that's not in the contract. You might have had... Uh, I don't know, you may be dyslexic, I'm not. <laughs> My spirit man is awake. I know what's in the word, amen. When the devil came to Jesus, he couldn't get him out, right? Jesus knew what was in the word. He said, dumb devil, you are not interpreting the Bible because you don't have the Holy Ghost. I have the Holy Ghost. And he used the word, amen. He used the word. A lot of times we just take it on face value. Oh, yeah. Oh, the scene is in the. Oh, yeah. I'm so weak. I'm so, you're not weak. The Bible said, let the weak say, I'm strong. Who said you're weak? No, 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 no. You're not weak. The Bible declares, he who is in you is greater. The Bible declares, let the weak say, I am strong. You are not the weak in that context. You are the strong one in that context. Hallelujah. And even then, God said, even if you're weak, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. You got to read the right part of it. Hallelujah. God does not want you to dwell in human weakness. He wants you to be established in divine power. Hallelujah. A lot of times we think about, oh, there is a wall in front of me. 
oh, the roads are not good, or this came out. No, 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 please. Be established in Christ. Be established in His power. Be clothed with the might of the Spirit so you can stand on the day of trouble. Hallelujah. The Bible says you got to be ready, man, when the trouble comes. The problem is we go for armory only when trouble comes. <laughs> we got to be ready for the battle all the time. For some time, I just ask you to sit down. I'm going to say a few things, and then we are going to get into worship again. There's going to be worship all throughout, okay? So if you're wondering which part of the night I am, there's no parts to this. <laughs> We're going to flow. <laughs> say flow. flow. We're going to flow with the Holy Ghost. Say that. We're going to flow with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. There is not going to be transition to this, to this, to that. So I don't know how I'm going to flow, but as the Spirit leads, I'm going to flow, all right? So this year, every year, so you can come and sit down here. Um, every year, the Lord gives us a strong, powerful promise. And you'll, you may think, uh, you may not understand when I first say something, but let me explain. Once I explain the context, you'll understand it. In the year 2020, the one of the biggest things that hit to the world was COVID-19. In the December 2019, God told me, 2020, for you and your ministry will be a year of supernatural dominion. What? Supernatural dominion. And you will do 20 times 2019. See, a lot of times... God is not going to say what the devil is doing. God is saying what he is doing. All right? See, when the Lord delivered people from Egypt, he did not say what Pharaoh will do. He did not say that giants will be in the land. He did not say you'll have Red Sea. He didn't say what the enemy was going to do. He was just saying what he was going to do. Amen? A lot of times, we need to frame our perspectives, our mindset, our ears, our heart to what the Lord is saying and just focus on what he said. Right? So, we stood on it. We had a phenomenal year. Just even before the lockdowns had happened, we already had a fire conference here. Uh, we had rented the whole place out. Um, <clears throat> so, people were tremendously blessed. And right after that, we did an international trip. And in that trip, my gosh, uh, I don't know, there were several deaf ears hearing, blind eyes seeing, uh, lame people getting healed. There was a mighty power of God. The places where the Holy Ghost would just move on people. I'm like, oh. <laughs> For me, it was like, oh God, what you doing? And this was all before COVID. Right and and even going to that, I told you I work for for an insurance firm. I was planning a ministry to, to India, but at work they said, Renard, we have some client relationships in India. Why don't you go visit them?" I told them, "Hey, I'm going for a ministry trip. I'm not going for an official trip." No, we'll pay for you. <laughs> Why can't you go? <laughs> so my organization paid for a ministry trip because I told them, okay, I'll go and visit your clients. Um, but I told them, but I can do that only the last week because I was making a trip for three weeks. I finished all my ministry work for two weeks. Mighty miracle, signs, wonders, life's transformed, right? And then the peak of COVID hits. And a call comes from my workplace here. No one ever be there. Just come back to the <laughs> United States. So I really did not do official work. <laughs> but <laughs> my company paid for my trip <laughs> to go and minister. Amen. And we had harvest, did we have? Hallelujah. And even during that year, I think we stopped in-person meeting once. Okay. The rest of the time, people were getting setting free. That was the time people were getting afraid. De demonic attacks, all these different things. God started transforming people when darkness was coming. God says, light and light shines. Hallelujah. So we saw 
powerful 2020. And then the Lord said the next year is going to be supernatural prosperity. Your people and your ministry will prosper. And God said it's going to be three times 2020. We were amazed. You know, I did not know how God was going to do. <laughs> but we had three times of everything we did. We had three weeks evangelism on the streets of Madison. People, uh, and it was during Farmer's Market. It was one of the largest gatherings in Madison, Wisconsin. We got to pre uh, preach to thousands. We met 1,000 people in person. Three weeks on the streets of Madison, giving them the gospel of the good news of the gospel. Amen. So people were tremendously touched and God blessed us financially three times. God blessed us. We did three conferences. We did three trainings. We had everything three towards the end of the year. And we have a magazine which will give you, which will detail what God did for us last year. And coming to this year, this is what the Lord told us. It's going to be a supernatural year of miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Supernatural year of miracles. Amen. And this is just not about what I do or my wife does. It's about everyone who's in our ministry. I'm, I'm looking at miracle workers here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is not trying to see there is no copyright on anointing. <laughs> there is no copyright on anointing. It's the same Holy Ghost that was on Jesus. If the same Spirit who resurrected Jesus from the dead lives within you, He will give life to your mortal bodies. There is no copyright on anointing. Only Jesus has a copyright. The Bible declares He is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. There is nobody else who has the power. It is the, it is the Lord Jesus Christ. As long as you belong to him, you have all access. Hallelujah. It is about you are asking the right thing to him. You know, a lot of times God is really specific about what we ask. In James we read, you have not because you. <laughs> and at times you don't have it because you're not even asking the right way. It is about asking for the right things. If we know how to ask, because our asking needs to be tied to faith. Hallelujah. See, nothing, your crying does not move the heart of God as much as your faith can. Let me tell you this, your crying, you can wail all you want. Yes, God will move. But nothing moves God like faith. The Bible declares it is impossible to please God without faith. Amen. He who believes God and that he's a rewarder of good things will receive things from God. And that is how God is pleased. Amen. When, when, when God, when Jesus was doing miracles, he said, great is your faith. Let it be done according to your faith. And everything was faith releases. Faith releases miracles. And, you know, think about this one. <laughs> Jesus was going to raise a dead person, right? And there was this lady uh, who was uh, having an uh, issue of blood. She didn't say, oh, Jesus has an appointment. <laughs> Your faith can interrupt God's appointments. Amen. Let me tell that to you again. Your faith can interrupt God's appointment, it's up to you to go and ask and receive. If God sees faith, oh, he's like, he's amazed. I've never seen such faith. God is attracted to faith. Amen. You know, when you read the new covenant, every time they chose people, they were full of faith and spirit. They looked for people who are full of faith and spirit. Are you full of faith and spirit? Okay, come on, come on. They didn't say, you got to go to a rabbinical school by Gamaliel and you got to have degrees. No, 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 no. Jew got the Holy Ghost and full of faith. Come and let's go. Hallelujah. Because they begin to know. What moves the heart of God? Hallelujah. So it is all about faith. Amen. So it is going to be a year of supernatural miracles. If you can attach your faith to that, you will begin to see 
miracles. Amen? Tonight, we are going to have an impartation towards the end. The impartation is the Lord will give you, that he'll anoint your hands to do special miracles this year. Because the promised verse we have is God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Can you say this? The Lord will wrought special miracles through these hands. Come on, come on, look at your hands. The Lord will wrought <laughs> special miracles through these hands. Hallelujah. He is not impartial. Your God is not impartial. Okay? He didn't say that is only for Paul. He didn't say that's only for Peter. No. There was a guy who did not even follow Jesus. He was casting out devils. And the disciples came to Jesus and said, Jesus, do I stop him? He said, dude, there's no copyright anointing, man. <laughs> Let him do what he's doing. As long as he's not against me, he's for me. Hallelujah. You, you know, we don't have to stop other people. See, God, Jesus came to activate each and every one of you. The problem in Christian circle right now is so many Christians are dormant, not activated. You got to be activated. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. You know, that's what's made to happen. We need activation. Because God wants activated Christians. He said, go ye into all the world. And preach the gospel. You know, as long as we continue, you know, if next year you come and say, oh, God did this for me. The next following, oh, God did this for me. And the following, oh, God did this for me. It's not, how many years will you keep saying what God did? What about God doing things through you to others? That needs to be your testimony. You know, whenever testimony happened in the New Testament church, Paul and Silas would come and say, hey guys, we went to this place. Holy Ghost broke loose, man. They started speaking in tongues. Oh man, the power of God was so amazing. Guess what? That, 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 that Roman guy, he gave his life to Jesus. That was their testimony. Now, if we come back to our times, like, oh God, oh, I was going through this stress. You know, that's all good. You know, God loves you. God wants to bless you, right? But we need to get into being a blessing mode. Hallelujah. The being a blessing mode happens when the Holy Ghost begins to move through you. And he's not some mist. He's not some smoke. He's, he's not some dove. D -d -don't, don't wait for a dove. He's in you. The Bible declares your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God has made you holy. Stop worrying about your holiness. Stop worrying about your ticket to heaven. You are supposed to give tickets to others. Hallelujah. You're worried about you going to heaven. Jesus did that for you. As long as the enemy can have us focused on, oh, you're not too well. You got to tell him, hey, he purchased my righteousness, dude. What are you talking about? You got to set him right. And the way you set him right is through this. You need to know your contract. You need to go read your contract really, really well. And then you know, am I believing a lie? Am I praying right? See, if your prayers are filled with these, you will get answers. Don't let your prayers be led by your emotions. If you l allow your prayer time to be led by your emotions, you will have something. But if you allow this word to direct your prayer, you will receive supernatural things. There is a verse in the Bible that says, through these precious promises, he has given us the ability to partake in the divine nature. Hallelujah. That is in 1 Peter. If you read 1 Peter chapter 1, through these precious promises, what are you using the precious promises of God for? God, I need a home. God, help me pay my grocery bill. God, heal me. That's okay, you know, but we got to graduate. We got to graduate. Hallelujah. We got to graduate. See, church is not supposed to be daycare. 
church is supposed to be graduated people going out, winning the lost, doing the things that Jesus did. Jesus said, you will do greater things than I did. And most of us, we don't even do what Jesus did. <laughs> but Jesus said, you're supposed to be doing greater things than I did. Hallelujah. So this year, supernatural year of miracles. Come on, let's say this again. The Lord will wrought special miracles through these hands. Through these hands. Hallelujah. I receive. The year of supernatural miracles. I will see blind healed, deaf hear, lame walk, and the dead rise. Hallelujah. That is your portion. That is your portion. Hallelujah. That is your portion. You walk in the power of God. You are not intimidated by the devil. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a song right now. I love this song. It says, mark my hands to heal. Mark my hands to heal. Say, mark my hands to heal. Mark my hands to heal, God. Mark my hands to heal tonight. Oh, Rabba Nasege no Shambra Tesiga. Oh, Meniga Robo no Sada Barabashe. Oh, Lord, I thank you for you're going to mark the hands of your people tonight to heal. To do special miracles. To do special miracles, God. Through the work of the cross and the price that you pay. Healing is here for you made a way. Your kingdom has come in your kingdom you hear. So let it break out as we draw near. Victor, even if the presentation mode doesn't work, that's okay. All right? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, so these are the words. Through the work of the cross and the price that you pay, healing is here for you made a way. Your kingdom has called, in your kingdom you heal. So let it break out as we draw near. Oh Lord! Let it break out tonight that your power to heal, that your anointing to heal. These are the days that you said we see healing revival and awakening. We step in with boldness. By the power of your spirit And all of the glory Belongs to Jesus Mark my hands to heal oh, oh, oh. Mark my hands to heal oh, oh, oh. Mark my hands to heal oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Come on, come on, just touch him, just touch him, just touch his heart, just touch his heart. See, God doesn't do miracles to show he is God. The Bible again and again declares he was moved with compassion. It moves, it moves, it flows from the heart of love. It flows from a heart of love. See, God has nothing to prove. He is God. <laughs> it doesn't matter who says what. It really doesn't matter how many books people write that there is no God. God is not trying to prove. He does miracles because he loves people. He loves people. See, we read in the word that he did miracles. The why was he loved them. But there was another important why. That is to help the people's faith. It is very difficult. It was very difficult for people to get and come and receive what Jesus had. So he had to help their faith first. And the way Jesus helped their faith is by performing miracles. Because they couldn't receive eternal life without faith. They needed faith. So first, he had great love for them. So he did miracles. And because of that great love, he wanted to spark their faith. And so he did. Signs and wonders. See, this is not about people saying, oh yeah, miracles happen in their ministry. No. It's about moving in the love of God. A lot of times we move in love and we do things what humans can do. That's no difference between God and the world. When you move with the love of God, you do what God does. Jesus moved with love. We don't often see Jesus raising funds to help the poor. He fed them a couple of times, but then he said, you guys are following me just for food. I'm not going to do that miracle again. <clears throat> Jesus was doing miracles to help people's faith. He was too much, much more concerned about their soul. He was much more concerned about their soul. You know, it is great that we give and all that. But we need to show the love of God the way God wants to show His love. The way God wants to show His love. So He brands your heart with His love. See, I, me and you, we cannot love with the love of God. We can love with our love, a human love. But in order to move with the love of God, our hearts need to be filled with His love first. So we can love through His love. We need to be filled with His Spirit first. So we can perform signs and wonders through His Spirit. We need to be filled with His Word first. So we can tell, preach and teach the good news of the gospel through His Word. God is not asking you to use anything you have. He calls you to himself and he says, empty yourself. I will fill you with everything you need. God does not need your talents. Okay? God does not need your finance. God doesn't need, God just needs your heart. When our heart is completely surrendered to him. And then we say, God, I'm going to empty 
myself so I can be filled with you. The Bible declares our Father God is conforming all of us to the image of His Son, Jesus Christ. God is not looking for more of you to be manifested. He's looking for more of Christ to be manifested through you. Amen? So for that to happen, He needs to fill us more. So we can flow. Amen? We can flow. We can flow. There's no prison wall you can break through, no mountain you can move, all things are possible. There's no broken body you can raise, no soul that you can save, all things are possible. In the darkest night, you can light it up. You can light it up. God of revival, let hope arise. Death is overcome. You already won. God of revival, you rose. In victory, and now you're seated forever on the throne. So, why should my heart fear what you defeated? I trust in you alone. Yeah, because there's no prayer. You can break through no mountains you can move on things are possible there's no broken body you can raise no soul that you can save all things are possible the darkest night you can light it up can light it up, God of revival, let hope arise, death is overcome, you've already won, God of revival, for oh, dark is night, you can light it up, you can light it up. Let hope arise, death is overcome, you've already won, God of revival. Come awaken your people, come awaken your city, God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains hit the ground. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Come awaken your people. Come awaken your city. God of 
sovereign love, I'm pouring out, pouring out. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains hit the ground. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Come awaken your people. Come awaken your city. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains hit the ground. God of revival, pour it out. Pour it out, the darkest night. You can light it up. You can light it up. God of revival, let hope arise. Death is overcome. You've already won. God of revival. Come awaken your people. Come awaken your city. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains at the ground. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Come awaken your people. Come awaken the city. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every struggle will crumble. Hear the chains hit the ground. God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Come awaken your people. Come awaken Illinois. Awaken Illinois. God of revival, pour it out. Pour it out, God. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains at the ground. God of revival, pour it out. Pour it out. Oh, 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 oh. God of revival. Father, there's no prison wall you can break through. Mountain you You're just in the world. You're not of the world. Your citizenship is in heaven. You're not citizens of this world. The moment you receive Jesus, your citizenship changed. 
A lot of times, we operate as if that this is our hope. <laughs> the other day, my wife, <clears throat> while I was sleeping, she said I was snoring. <laughs> and then, she said, I, I all of a sudden, it felt as though I stopped breathing. So she recorded it. And she woke up the very next morning and said, do you know what happened last night? You were snoring and you all of a sudden stopped breathing. So I started praying. And I said, if at all I stop breathing, I'll go to heaven. So why would you do that? And I know my mission on earth is not done. Even if I go there, he's going to send me back. See, we, I live from heaven. You live from heaven. You don't belong here. We are, we are here to change the world. Unfortunately, the world is changing us. <laughs> God has sent us to be world changers. <clears throat> the concept, see, there is the, the life verse for our ministry is for you to live as Christ and to die as gain. I, me and my wife, we already discussed, okay, if I'm in ministry and if I'm out, how do you carry on? That's how we talk. Because for me, that's reality. I've, I've lost fear of death. And that's a good thing. And Satan has nothing. He has nothing with me. He cannot bring fear in my heart. When I move in faith, he trembles. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not, you know, I don't try to go open heavens. When I go, heavens open. Hallelujah. That's how sons and daughters move. Heavens open for sons and daughters of God. We don't have to fight. The Bible declares you are sons of light. Hallelujah. So, there's no prison. Wall you can break through, no mountains you can move, things are possible. There's no broken so that you can save things are possible. The talk is now. right now let every stronghold be broken <laughs> I want you to understand you can you can sit down just be in the presence <laughs> strongholds They are thought patterns in your mind. <clears throat> strongholds are not principalities. Strongholds are not powers of darkness. When Jesus came to preach the gospel, he said a very important word. He said, repent. Yes. Repentance, the word in Greek, is metanoia. Say metanoia. Metanoia. <clears throat> metanoia does not mean stop sinning. Metanoia means change the way you think. What? Change the way you think. See, 
If you can stop sinning, why do you need a savior? We need to come to a savior who can save us from our sins. Repent does not mean stop sinning. You can't stop sinning. You got to come to a savior who can help you, save you from sin. Repentance means change the way you think. <clears throat> For more than 1,000 years, in AD 40, no, 400, the Catholic Church, <clears throat> they ordered that Jerome, a very scholarly person in the Roman Catholic Church, that he translate the Bible into Vulgate. Vulgate means the common language, the vulgar or the common language, which is Latin, all right? So they translated the Bible into Latin. <coughs> In that, when Jerome translated the word metanoia, he translated it as penance instead of change the way you think. For 1,000 years, and even right now, the Catholic Church used that translation of the word repentance as penance, and they have a, one of their seven doctrines is penance. <clears throat> that is just because of a translation that Jerome did. Later, Erasmus, a very scholarly Greek person, he came and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the source and translate the Bible back to Greek. And when he did the translation, he was like, oh my gosh, what do they do here? This is change the, this is metanoia. Change the way you think. This does not mean penance. Penance means do this work to earn salvation. But metanoia means change the way you think. So when they came and presented that to the Catholic Church, they were held with great resistance. But those were the writings that inspired the great reformers. The morning star of reformation is John Wycliffe. He read this and he said, oh my gosh, we all are being trained using Latin to follow a doctrine and not the word. And he started writing and he started training Lollards, the young people, he would just train young men and women without education just to go preach the gospel. Was revolutionary at that time. And then later, John Huss got hold of these teachings of John Wycliffe. And he said, this is the truth. People are stuck to a system. How do we get them out of it? And he started talking about this. And then, Catholic Church was able to destroy all of these people, but... They couldn't stop God's battle axe. That is Martin Luther. He got inspired by those same writings. And he said, it is just not repentance. Repent and believe. See, gospel that Jesus gave requires only two human response. Gospel if, if you want to live the fullness of gospel, there's only two human response. And this needs to be living and continuous all the days of your life. That is repentance, meaning continuously change the way you think to the scriptures. Number two, belief. That's it. Repent and believe. That's what Jesus said. Repent and believe the gospel. That is the preaching of the new covenant. That is how we introduced new covenant. Strongholds are thought patterns, misunderstandings, which the enemy uses and abuses to abuse us. A lot of times, whenever we, in Christian circle, when we say the word repent, we think it is stop sinning. That's not it. Change the way you think. Why? As the man thinketh, so he is. Right? 
the moment your thought patterns change, you automatically change. You cannot control your outcome if you cannot change the input. Is that making sense? The moment the inside, the thinking changes, you start doing differently. Amen? So strongholds are thought patterns in your mind. So that's why the Bible said, you have divinely powered weapons. Your weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And watch this. Casting down every imagination. Where is your imagination? (laughs) Wrong thought patterns create wrong types of imaginations. Imagination is nothing but amplification of a wrong thought pattern. Imagination is an amplified wrong thought pattern that paralyzes people. Is that making sense? So your weapons are not carnal, they're mighty through God, they're pulling down our strongholds, casting down every imagination and bringing every high thought, what? High thought that raises itself against the knowledge of Christ. Is that making, everything is in the mind. The stronghold, the thought pattern, the new covenant breaks that. That's why Paul said, you got to be transformed by the renewing of your? Transformation does not (laughs) happen in the spirit. Why? You are a new creature. Your spirit man is new. Your spirit man does not have to be transformed. Your mind, your soul has to be transformed. Your soul can only be transformed through the word. Think about this as your programming language. Your mind has been programmed incorrectly. You know how? A virus entered into the soul called sin. And it corrupted God-given program. It corrupted your mind. Every time you see, it changed the perspectives. That is the virus that entered the soul called sin. So every time you perceive, you see something, it makes you think differently. But God gave an antidote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So first, through the blood of Jesus, he saves your soul. And then he creates a new creature in you. And that is your spirit. Your spirit has direct access to God. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, this is what the Bible says. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Your spirit man is a heavenly person. See, your soul man was created was born after the image of the fallen man, Adam. Your spirit man was birthed after the image of the last Adam, the Bible says, who is Jesus Christ. Uh, you, you understand what I'm saying, right? I'm preaching scriptures, I'm not just giving you references. <laughs> All right? <clears throat> Your soul man is the fallen man who God still wanted to save that man. God loves your soul. The Bible says he's the lover of your soul. <clears throat> but he has given you his spirit, a spirit man. You know why? Restoring your soul is a long process. He can save your soul. But there is a restoration process that's happening. Meaning, removing the virus from your mind is not an easy job. He removed sin, but your mind still is attached to your soul man. That's why the Bible says, have your mind controlled by the spirit. By default, your mind is controlled by the soul. So if you want to go read Romans 8, it talks about 
mind controlled by spirit is life and righteousness. But mind controlled by the carnal nature. The carnal nature is not your body. It's stuck in your soul. That's where sin is. <clears throat> okay? The carnal nature causes you to think incorrectly. <clears throat> That's why the Bible says you need to control your mind by the Spirit. Why? You are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You are a very prosperous person. You are a very, very, very prosperous person. In your soul, you are poor. In your soul, you are stuck with poverty. You are stuck with sin. Your mind, can, your mind is sin conscious. But God makes you Christ conscious. He makes you righteousness conscious. For that, your spirit man needs to get activated. Hallelujah. Every time we just think about our soul, oh, I'm thinking like this. No, that's why the Bible says you got to use one of the divinely powered weapons called the gift of righteousness. The gift of righteousness is a divine armor that God has given to you. Every time your mind says, you lame sinner, you use the gift of righteousness and say, Christ called me saint. <laughs> Because I have the righteousness of Christ. So you reprogram your mind using the scriptures. And eventually, you know what happens? You'll start doing what your mind thinks. And at that point, since it's controlled by the spirit, you do righteousness by default. Why? Your mind has been reprogrammed. Hallelujah. A lot of times people are stuck because of strongholds. For you to walk in miracles. You all, most of you here speak in tongues, right? You can speak in tongues whenever you want. Right? <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> so most of the time, you can speak in tongues whenever you want. You should be able to heal, guided by the heart, whenever you want. You should be able to prophesy, guided by the love of God whenever you want. That is the maturity that happens. The Bible says you will prosper. God wants you to prosper and live in good health as your soul prospers. So God prospers that soul. Why? There is poverty written all over your soul. Your soul is saved but it's poor. It thinks after the old nature. So God breaks, transforms that poor soul into a prosperous soul. And you know what prosperous soul thinks? Sees when it sees sickness, it says, special miracles happen now. Hallelujah. When you see darkness, you speak light. When you're stuck in a storm, you're not fearful. You say, peace. See, that is how Jesus moved. And that is how he wants you to move. I just gave a small snippet right now. <laughs> My wife is smiling. Of a book that's going to be released on April 3rd. The book is called Fire. Experience Personal Revival in 21 Days. It will revolutionize your walk with God. A lot of people speak in tongues. But the Bible says, when the anointing, when the Spirit comes upon you, you live in power. I speak in tongues all the time. I love speaking in tongues. But there is, Holy Ghost is more than tongues. You need a life of power. For that, your soul, the strongholds has to be broken. If strongholds are not broken, let me give you another thing. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. A lot of people say you are a soul. You're not a soul. Why? If any man is in Christ, you're a new creature. You are a new creature. You're a spirit. 
The old is gone. The new has come. So that is in the realm of the spirit. <coughs> and I said, in the realm of the spirit, you are very prosperous. You have every spiritual blessing in the spirit. But for that spirit blessing to manifest in the physical realm, it needs to pass through the realm of the soul. Okay? But if your soul is ridden with strongholds, it cannot flow. The moment strongholds gets broken, the Bible says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. It's in the innermost being. It's not your soul, it's your spirit. Because the heaven is connected to yours. Your spirit man is connected to heaven. You are living an eternal life through your spirit. Amen. That's why when you die, you just step into eternity. That is my home. See, a lot of people, <coughs> most of us, we operate from earthly realm. When you operate from earthly realm, you are fighting against the turbulence. You got to fight from the heavenly realm. Why? You are most prosperous there. You don't use your weakened soul in flesh to wage war. Satan is prosperous in the flesh realm. <laughs> you are prosperous in the spirit realm. Satan is, he's a flesh devil. He uses carnal weapons. He is an expert in using that. You need to tease him into the spirit world. The moment you tease him into the spirit world, when he comes to see you, you know what he sees? A image of Jesus, a likeness of Jesus, and he terrifies. <gasps> oh my gosh, who's this? <laughs> I thought this was so and so, and I followed into the spirit realm, and I see Jesus. But what we do is, we stay in this soul realm and flesh realm and fight him. If you fight him, yeah, you'll fail. You got to get him into the realm of the spirit. Where the righteousness of Christ. The Bible says, how do you get there? Through divine promises. You share the divine nature. And when he comes to you and says, you sinner, hey, I think you read the Bible wrong or misinterpreted it. The Bible says, I have a divine nature, not a sin nature. It's like, oh. And then he will throw another at you. Oh, but you sinned. The truth is, you're not a sinner because you sinned. You were born as a sinner because of the nature of sin. You don't become sinners because you sin. You were birthed into sin. Is that making sense? Similarly, you don't become righteous because you do righteousness. That's why Jesus said, you cannot have right. There's a righteousness apart from the law was revealed. And that is faith in Jesus Christ. You are not made righteous by doing righteous deeds. You are righteous because you received a righteous nature in Christ. Hallelujah. So when the enemy comes and says, you evil sinner, you sin. Hey, I've received the righteousness of Christ. And he'll begin, oh, this person, try. they started reprogramming their mind. I can't stop it. So he will flee. See, Satan flees when you command him from the realm of the spirit. You can shout all you want. In Jesus' name, in the blood. You know, there was a person who told me, Brother, we went for this deliverance thing. I read from KJV to this demon. It's still manifesting. I read from NIV from this demon. Still manifest. <laughs> you read whatever Bible. Devil can quote Bible better than any Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quoting the scriptures in the realm of the flesh and soul will not work. You need to, if you say one word from the realm of the spirit, he will shudder. 
you and I need to get into that world. <clears throat> so, the first reason why you will operate in supernatural miracles is you will operate from the realm of the Spirit. If you <coughs> operate from the realm of the Spirit, you will not satisfy the desires of the flesh. If you have your mind governed by the Spirit, you will have life in righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the first reason why God wants you to do special miracles this year is because you will be operating from the realm of the Spirit. What's the time? Okay. I lose track of time. I'm not going to give you the next two because I think God is already doing great things inside of you. I'm going to have my wife come and talk a little bit about our ministry. <clears throat> and right after this, we are going to do an impartation time. An impartation time is laying on of hands. <clears throat> During that time, the Holy Spirit comes and he touches you. All you have to do is focus your heart, your mind on Jesus. It doesn't flow from me. It flows from the one who's in me. Hallelujah. It is just, it's like this. I think it was the same hotel last time we came, right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so when we came here last time, at that time we had a different car, and our old car, the battery died. We couldn't start. I had to get a jump start. Right? Somebody came and helped. That's how it is. This is just a jump start. <laughs> a battery power from one place goes, and you are compatible. Why? You have the Spirit. The same Spirit of God lives in you. You are totally compatible to receive. And when He flows, you're like, oh, supercharged. And now you start. It's, it's just like a jump start, and now you can start living that life. Amen? So I'm going to have my wife come and talk a little bit, and then we'll do impartation, and we'll close. You know, if there are anyone who's sick, if you need healing, you can also receive it at that time. Amen. How are you guys enjoying this so far? Yes, amen. Okay. <laughs> yes, praise the Lord. You know, um, it is, uh, um, like I said earlier, our ministry is called Life is Christ Ministries because for us to live is Christ and to die is gain. And it is, uh, He is the reason for our living. And we have no life apart from Him. And our uh, the vision of the ministry is to um, establish kingdom operations on earth. <clears throat> by and to revive nations uh and we do this by the power of the holy spirit what does that really mean what is uh establishing kingdom operations when jesus came what was the gospel that jesus preached he didn't say believe in me i'm gonna die i'm gonna raise up he didn't, that was not the gospel jesus preached. jesus preached repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand right and that's what we've been listening to right now repent for the kingdom of god is at hand so that means the kingdom of god the heaven should be on earth right yeah. jesus even prayed let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven so in heaven how is it is wonderful it's, it's in the presence of the lord right and and it's the same here that we get to establish kingdom operations the rest of the verse says repent for the kingdom of, repent <clears throat> for the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper cast out demons that what, that's what we do in our ministry we heal the sick it's normal for us and to heal the sick and to and i believe this year we will see the raised dead uh, the dead raised dead the dead <laughs> raised <laughs> yes amen the lord is going to do so much mighty things this year uh through this year of supernatural miracles, you know, the way I grew up or, you know, any normal Christian, any church that they go to, when they hear this year of supernatural miracles, the first thought will come that saying that, oh, God is going to do a miracle in my life. Uh, and that's great, you know, God is going to do, but 
what I, but now that my mind has changed to be more like Christ, I'm like, hey, I'm not just expectant of a miracle from God. I get to do the miracles of God. I get to be a blessing in other people's lives. Amen. Amen. And um, because of that, we have created a T-shirt for us for this year. Uh, it says, he gives the power to do miracles. Amen. So you're welcome to purchase it right outside. Um, we, it's just a constant reminder. I'm, oh, there it is. <clears throat> Yeah, the Lord is, you know, he just uh, gives us the power. He gives us the power. He doesn't just give us enough to just sustain our, in our Christian life, but he gives us the power to do the mighty miracles of God. Last year, we got to do wonderful things, and we have our magazine out there. <clears throat> Um, we did this at the end of the year last year uh, of 2021, so it's less than a month old. Uh, and all that the Lord did last year, uh, you will see testimonies. You, you read the Bible. Bible is full of testimonies. Testimonies as in how God changed that person, how God blessed that person. This is kind of like that. You will see so many testimonies of how God blessed people and how lives have been changed. You know, sometimes when I Though we've been seeing so many lives being touched and so many lives being transformed, every time I read a testimony, I still tear up. I still am in awe of this power of the gospel because I, you know, I'm a, I'm like a fifth generation Christian. I, I grew up in church. I have more pastors in my family than, ch than many churches, I think. And but still, I didn't know the power of God, and. But now when I get to walk in that power, get to experience the power, see the power of God manifesting in people, I'm still in awe. I'm still in, in wonder that this God is, is alive today. The Bible is alive even today. It's not just because when you don't see the miracles of God, you don't see the power of God, you think the Bible is just a fairy tale because it's happened in the past, yeah. And then you just, oh yeah, it's just happened in the past. But when you see the power of God moving even today, you see the miracles of God, you see how God is moving even today, right? Instead of watching TV where, where they put all the different news, different things and saying this, this is going down, that is going down, but you see the power of God, that he's still at work even today, right? And that will, and that will challenge your faith to go deeper in God. So I encourage you, you can just pick one up as you go out, this is a free magazine, just, uh, just to en uh, encourage you in your faith. You're welcome to get that. And then this year, we also have a calendar. So usually what we do is when God gives us a promise for the year, um, uh, we, my, uh, my husband, he spends some time uh, praying in the presence of the Lord, and he just gives us downloads of things that we're going to do this year because we don't plan according to what we want. We only ask God. Jesus said, I do only what I see my father do. And that's how we try to live because what life is Christ. We do whatever Jesus did, right? So Jesus did only what he saw the father do. So our ministry is like that. So we, anything we do, we get the, we get the, the direction from God and then we do so. So every month we have a promise that God gives. And every month, um, this month's promise is you will behold the miracle worker. And then we also have like events that we're doing, uh, that we do every month. So for every month, God has given us a, a promise. Um, and then the events that we're going to do, you can also see the events that we do in Illinois. Everything will be here. And then how to register for them, there'll be an email at the uh, website at the bottom. Oops, of the things. So even you, you can get a calendar from outside. Uh, we, we, these are, uh, these are $10. Um, so you can purchase them outside. Uh, your t-shirt is 20 if you want to purchase. But I would get this calendar because I don't know how God works. I know, I know how God works, right? But every, every year uh, when we get this calendar, we won't know what is going on in the world. And then when we get to that month and we see the promise, we're like, oh my gosh, this is an answer to what is happening in the world right now. Uh, like, you know, when, when I, my first COVID hit, 
and everybody was so scared and at home and everything. God, that month's promise was you have the divine nature of God. So if you have God's nature, you God is not scared of anything. That 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 was that month's promise. And then different things I I can't remember every but you know every month when something in the world happens, the the promise of God would be and He would have promised this months almost a year ago even right but it'll be so perfect for that month so i encourage you to to get a calendar and we just we're just so glad that you guys are here may you be blessed i pray that what you have received today in your in your spirits may they be manifested in your souls as you walk um as you walk out of here i you know i really we really want people to walk in the spirit, walk by in the spirit. Um, like I said, I'm a fifth generation Christian. I never knew that it was normal for Christians to do miracles. Um, I was never taught that. I was, I, I never, any of the churches that I went to, they never, I was never, I never knew that it was normal for Christians to do miracles. And Christ, um, and so when I was in college, I, as I was reading the Bible, I probably read that verse before, but when I came across uh, uh, Mark 16, it says, these signs will follow them that believe. They will speak in tongues, they will cast out demons, they will lay their hands on the sick, and that they will recover. And, 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 and when I was reading this verse, I was like, wow, this is for everybody who believes. It's not some special pastor, it is not some special you know, intercessory team. It is for every believer. And from then on, I was like, God, I want this. I am a believer. And I was going after God and, you know, different things in life. I was, I could never see that um, in the Christian world. And I was like, God, is this all what Christianity is? I don't want this Christianity. I want the Bible Christianity. And I kept going after. And now I'm so privileged that God would use us in this time, in this um in this world, in this end times, right? Each and every one of us for the glory of his name to do the mighty works, to get people ready for his second coming. Amen. So in the last three years, right, you know, we've been in operation for three years. In the last three years, we've seen 600 people healed, 300 people spirit baptized, um, <clears throat> we've reached out close to 30,000 people um, to get to that. But my, for example, day before yesterday, my dad is a pastor in, um, in a country that is close to the gospel. All right? It's, a, it's an Islamic country. <clears throat> so my dad also, he believes in healings and all that. Day before yesterday, he called me. My, you know, he, he, my mom calls me, but when my dad calls me, there's something's going on. <laughs> my mom calls me all the time, but my dad called me. I'm like, all right. And he said, Renat, are you busy? I said, uh, no, no. Tell me what's going on. And he was like, can you pray for me? Like, okay. What happened? Uh, he's like, I'm not able to walk. I don't know what happened. My knees. I've been trying to get a ministry. I, I don't know. I'm just not able to move. It's it's hurting. <clears throat> so, over the phone, prayed first time. He said, it's still there. Second time, 90% completely free. The very next day he called, ran it, I just walked us normal, ministered. You know, at times, these things just come and fall on us, and you just slay it and send it out, right? So, you have the power to do that. This year, in the month of March, we have uh, a, a conference, uh, Supernatural Miracles. It's a miracle conference. Uh, it's for two days. That, that'll happen in Madison. That's not going to happen here. Um, this year, we also have fire conference that is coming in Illinois. Uh, it's in the month of June or July. <coughs> um, June, yeah, June 3rd and 4th. We have fire conference here. It is going to be most likely this space will will rent this whole uh, all three rooms from here. And then this year we are going to be offering a healing school. It's going to be a three weeks. Um, <coughs> it is. We are going to make it available online as well. Um, I'm we're, I'm calling that activate divine healing and power evangelism. 
Because right after we do the healing school, we hit the streets. In our ministry, one of the most important things is I don't invite seat warmers. If you want to be a seat warmer, you can go to a a different place. Here, we do the gospel. I don't prepare sermons. I prepare people. And we activate people. So they can go and do the works of God. (coughs) Right? So we train. Because, you know, what happens is if you keep reading, studying, studying, the knowledge will paralyze you. You can move. You need enough and do it. At workplace, I don't know how many of you have known this or go through this. As a people leader, I have to train people, right? Because they have to be kept up with skills. That's because skills keep changing. The rule for training is 70-20-10, meaning... 10% 10% training, 20% peer-to-peer, you know, a pair of long people, let them learn. 70% doing. <laughs> 70, 20, 10. You know what's happening in Christianity? 90% learning. 10% not even doing. <laughs> no. We, we need to be activated. You got to go and do. In doing, you will learn. In a lot of times, if you just sit and just keep learning, you don't even understand at times. Right? Oh, yeah, you know, that's what I think. And you go into a theological debate. The moment you start living the gospel, the Lord will start explaining things to you much better. See, there's a difference between a person who keeps learning to a person who applies that learning to create something. It's a whole different ballgame. It's as if, you know, people learn theory, theory, and if, they, and if you put that person to build something, they can't. You know why? All they know is theory. They can't translate into practical living. When they do practical, and then, oh, that's what that meant. <laughs> right? So that's how it is in the kingdom. If you don't do the word, you don't understand the word. So what happens is just a bunch of theoretical people debating. Oh, this is what that means. That's what this means. Go do the work first. And then let's discuss. Right? So that's what Paul says. The kingdom of God is not a word. It's of power. That's what Paul says. Right? So right now, this is what we're going to do. We are going to enter into a short time of worship. And then it's going to be uh, impartation. All right? As the part of worship, the first thing, I would like for you to ask God, how would you like to bless this ministry? Okay, with your giving. Whatever the Lord puts in your heart, you can give. As a thank you, what I want to do is, I want to give you our calendar. All right? You don't have to purchase it for $10. (laughs) We want to bless you with our calendar. It has promises for every month. You can also learn about our events that is connected to to it. Maybe if you can, somebody can bring that in the front. And... uh, is it Krista and Zoe? If you guys can go give it to people, the offering uh, envelopes. <coughs> so do whatever the Lord asks you to do, all right? <coughs> and, the, and the Lord will bless whatever you give, amen? And when you're sowing, you are sowing into revival. You are sowing into training people. You are sowing into miracles, amen? <coughs> You are exchanging dollars for souls. <laughs> you are exchanging dollars for spiritual things tonight. All right? So whatever the Lord puts... Yeah, you can, you can leave it there. Whatever the Lord puts in your heart, you can give. Uh, if you wish to give online, you can also do so. But uh, envelopes are here. You can do it that way. Um, Victor, do you have details of online giving? So if you want to give online, you can also go to licm.life slash invest. So I'm going to give you a little bit. Uh, Can one of you put all the calendar? Yeah, give the calendar. Thank you. Give the calendar to everybody. (coughs) 
Once you're ready, don't give it yet. Just raise it in your hand. I just want to pray first. If you're doing through mobile, raise your mobile. <laughs> uh, you know, you can write it down. And before you come and drop it here, right? Just raise the envelope or raise your phone. Because I want to pray a prayer of blessing over your giving. All right? Not yet. Once you're ready, we'll do that. Once you've written it down or once you're ready to give, don't give it yet. <clears throat> let's bless and let's do it together. Oh Lord. Mosam Pramana Seke. If you're ready, you can just raise your hands. Okay, one is ready. The others are also getting ready. I'll just give two more minutes, okay? <clears throat> Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus everything to the name of Jesus this is a house of miracles come alive in the name of Jesus come alive in the name of Jesus this is a house of miracles we pray everything to the feet of Jesus, everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. I still believe you're working. I still believe you're moving. I still I believe, believe you're working. All things for good. I fix my eyes on heaven. God, I receive your vision. God, I believe you're working. All things for good. Yeah. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus, everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. All right, so we're going to sing this full song now. But before that, if you're ready, just lift your giving thing up. Yeah, you can all stand up too. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, that every seed that is sowed will fall on a good ground and your people will receive a harvest of righteousness. <clears throat> Lord, as they exchange dollars for souls, as they exchange dollars for revival, I pray God that their reward will be great in heaven and God that you will bless them on earth multiple times God for what they give tonight you are the God who knows their heart and that you would bless the heart that gives in Jesus name amen amen so you can come up uh, and give and you can take a magazine along with you all right and if you're giving online you can just give it online and come and grab it come on you can do so This is a house of he worship. This is a house of praise. Where every demon trembles. Where we 
proclaim your name. This is a house of healing. Our hearts are full of faith. You have our full attention. You have the final say. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. There's resurrection power. Your blood runs through my veins. Your kingdom triumphs over even the coldest grave. You believe that? There is resurrection power. Your blood runs through my veins. Your kingdom triumphs over even the coldest grave. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, come alive. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. We bring everything in the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. Come alive. Come alive. In the name of Jesus, come alive. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. We pray everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. I still believe your moving. I shall believe you're speaking. God, I believe you're working. All things for good. I fix my eyes on heaven. God, I receive your vision. God, I believe you're working. All things for good. I shall believe you're moving. I shall believe you're speaking. God, I believe you're working. All things for God. I fix my eyes on heaven. God, I receive your vision. God, I believe you're working. All things for God. Oh, yeah. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. Come alive, yeah! Come alive in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. I still believe you're moving. I still believe. Yes. Yes. God, yes. I believe oh, you're working. Me. Oh, All brother, that's tender. I believe you're working. God, I believe your vision. God, I believe you're working. All things for good. I still believe. I still believe you're moving. I still believe you're speaking. God, I believe. 
So this is what we're going to do. I want to move, if some of you can come and help. I just want to move all the chairs to the corner. <coughs> uh, yeah, just, just move to the corner. And you can put your stuff in your chair if you want. <coughs> <coughs> so you can come and stand. <coughs> uh, people can line up, maybe. If you can <coughs> take the microphone and instruct the best way to line up. <coughs> so um, <coughs> we can line up this way. We can form a line first of a few people. Just Once tell them what happens. They are prayed over. Then we can go to the next line. Um, what this is, is if you've never been to... Turn off the lights, please. Life is Christ. Uh, dim, it, dim it down. Yeah. Uh, impartation. Um, this is when the whole, <coughs> well, he's always been here, but he's going to touch you in a mighty way. Um, you may feel light. You may feel light. Um, you may feel like you need to lie down. You might you need to sit down. Or you may feel a uh, heavy presence of God. Or you may feel heat in your <coughs> bodies. Um, or however he wants to come. Be yielding to be yielded to him. Okay, if he's trying, is his presence coming on? Don't try to stand and you know, <laughs> fight. Don't fight him or fight what he's trying to do inside of you. Just yield. If you need to fall, there'll be people behind to catch you. You don't have to fall. We don't ask that people fall because you want to fall or you you think you're trying to help God. Don't help God. Let him do his thing. <laughs> he, uh, he is the helper, right? And so he's he's going to touch you in a mighty way. Just be yielded to him. Don't be looking, don't be distracted looking at other people, how they're going to fall, or even looking at Pastor Renard, because he's not going to be the one who's to touch you. Uh, he'll touch you, but he's not going to be the one to do ins anything inside of you or for you. It's going to be God. So just have your eyes fixed on him. Um, don't if even if before he touches you, somebody some people may fall. Okay, just be yielded to him because he is the baptizer. Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit and fire. Amen. Okay, um, so when you're ready, you can start lining up. <laughs> so we'll do a first group and then we will. So, <coughs> So if a people are going to be behind you, okay? 
To, you see, you're not compelled to fall, okay? <laughs> this is not, uh, I'm not going to take the number of people who fall down. But if the Spirit of the Lord, can you turn on the music please? When the Spirit of the Lord comes and when He does things, I want you to be yielded. And even right now, your heart needs to be praying to Him. Uh, Jonah and Charles, I'll come to you guys later, okay? I just want... <laughs> The people who have come here for the first time, you step up first. <coughs> and so, if you, if you feel uncomfortable, we have blankets, so we will cover you in case you're thinking, "Oh, what if I fall in a weird way?" And <laughs> you know, women, we have different things, right? We have blankets to cover you too. So, all right. Okay. So this this is what I'm going to do. Right now, you can close your eyes. <coughs> Let your eyes be upon the Lord. All right. Your eyes just be upon the Lord. And your heart praying to him to Lord come and touch me today. God mark my hands to heal people. Right? You know, have this prayer always in your heart. <clears throat> so when I come and lay my hands, some of you, even before I come and lay my hands, you may already feel <laughs> the presence of the Lord here. That's what happens a lot of time. <clears throat> Don't fight him. Because that's how the spirit flows. Alright? Let him flow. Let him flow. He's, he's going to do something new. He's going to do something very new. He's going to do something very new. You know, you, you came with a searching heart. You came with a seeking heart. You wanted to get more of him. And now is that time. Don't miss this opportunity. Okay? You came for this. And you're going to get it. And you're going to get it. Because your good father. He gives the fullness of his spirit. To everyone who asks. He's not restraining his spirit from you. He wants to give to you. So a good, good father who's a giver is here. So your eyes and your heart be upon him. Come Holy Spirit. Right now God. And touch your people. Fill. In the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Touch these hands to heal, God. I activate every prophecy and promise that has been given to you. I activate every prophecy and promise that has been spoken over you. It comes alive tonight. Activate in Jesus' name. Receive the power of God now. Be filled in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Fire. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I thank you, God, for you are moving in this place. What goes around doesn't come around. You have moved into grace. You will operate by the law of the Spirit. Touch in Jesus' name every thought pattern that is restraining you to move. 
I break it in Jesus' name. Be set free and be made whole. May our soul be prospered in Jesus' name. Fire in the name of Jesus. I see something from you know deep inside of you. Almost in your belly area. I bless what you're doing, Holy Spirit. I bless what you're doing, Holy Spirit. Out of her belly shall flow rivers of living water. Every weakness of the flesh, every burden, yoke you've been carrying, I break it now in Jesus' name. Flow in Jesus' name. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Horabatas di kamanava shake. Horabana sekenimo sharaba. Horabana sekenimo. If you can just lift your hands. Yeah. Just put it in the receiving as if you're receiving a gift from God. Lord. understands you. He understands you fully well. You don't have to feel bad approaching him. He thinks great things about you. Every lie that is spoken to you, I uproot it now. He calls you his darling, his beautiful. You don't have to be ashamed of anything. He gives you beauty for ashes. He gives you his water, his life-giving word to transform you. The glories you have seen glimpses in a dream of a future you know I'm, I'm seeing that you've seen you dressed in such a beautiful clothing receiving applause from many. See, those are not far-fetched ideas. Those are just not imaginations. Before the world began, you were on his mind. Nothing you have done, nothing you have done is going to stop him from loving you. Tonight I clothe her with your joy and gladness, God. I remove every heaviness and yoke in Jesus' name. Fill in Jesus' name with the beauty and love of God and walk in His glory in Jesus' name. 
Jesus' name. Mark these hands to heal. The heart of love and compassion the Lord has given you. Whenever you move in that, you, you say to the Lord, God, I don't have great faith. In the atmosphere of love and compassion, faith leaps. Faith arises. There is no fear in love. There is no hesitation in love. And God has given you a heart of love and compassion. Be filled with the love of God from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' name. I thank you for your love that flows like a liquid upon her right now. That she will be activated to love people through the divine power of God. In Jesus' name. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Every poverty of the soul, every stronghold is broken. You will operate in the mind of Christ. You will set, I see a teaching gift upon you. And God, I set to flame the gift to teach and impart wisdom. In the name of Jesus, that you will use a more, Lord, that your spirit will flow. Fire of God from the crown of a head to the sole of her feet. Everything is being made new. 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 Paul Randa Masakana. If you have received prayer, you can just go and stand in the second line. I'll just start praying for the others. You know, just be in the atmosphere. The Spirit is here. Touch in Jesus' name. Love does not hold records of wrong. All the walls are coming down. I feel you with the love of God. Receive His love right now from the crown of your head. The sole of your feet. Feel God. I thank you. I thank you for your spirit. I activate every prophecy. 
that has been spoken into you. God asked me to say this over you even when I was worshiping. Come alive in Jesus' name. Come alive in Jesus' name. Come alive in Jesus' name. Your spirit person is full of fire. Every threads and cords in the realms of the soul is being burnt down. Activate in Jesus' name with the fire of God from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Every word of prophecy, I activate in Jesus' name. Come alive in Jesus' name. your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Everything that did not go the way you planned And the disappointments are being removed right now. An open door is being given to you. Do not hesitate to walk in it. For he will guide you and teach you the way you should go. Don't overanalyze. Step out in faith. Don't overanalyze. Step out in faith. This will not fail. Out of your belly shall flow rivers. Fire in Jesus' name. From the crown of his head to the soul of her feet. Now, in Jesus' name. Fire! From the crown of your head to the soul of his feet. Mark these hands for special miracles. I mark these hands for special miracles, God. Everything that is deposited inside of you will be manifested. Don't fear of things getting buried. The time of manifestation is near. And it is now. Don't move in fear, but just move in love and faith. Nothing that the Lord has deposited in you is going to be unused. You will manifest everything the Lord has revealed to you. In Jesus' name, Come alive from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let a fire of God flow in Jesus' name. Ta 
touch in the name of Jesus. Let the healing power of God flow from the crown of his head. Anything that bothers you, in Jesus' name, every dream that bothers you or part that comes to bother you, I command in the name of Jesus, flee now in Jesus' name. Be filled with the love of God. And every fear leave in Jesus' name. Fire from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Special miracles. Special miracles. Don't doubt yourself. Don't think you're not worthy. He has made you worthy. He has qualified you. He has prepared you for a time as this. Boldly walk in it. Does not matter what others say or others think or others feel fire from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus name mark these hands to heal special The spirit man is going to come alive this year. You're going to experience faith like you've never experienced before. <clears throat> Don't second guess yourself. The spirit man is going to be manifested. Fire! Jesus name from the innermost of your being let rivers of living water flow in Jesus name Amen Amen <clears throat> Mark Mark these hands to heal. Fire in the name of Jesus. Touch him. Fill him with your fire. Mark his hands to heal. That he'll see healing miracles this year. In Jesus' name. Touch in Jesus' name. Special miracles. Special miracles. Things that are hidden in you. <laughs> Things that are hidden in you. He has put eternity in your heart. <laughs> He's put eternity in your heart things that are hidden in you is going to be manifested this year. Walk in it. Don't think. Walk. Amen. As he is in the light, you are in the light. As he walks in the light, you walk in the light. Be filled with a beauty and the love and the light of God. 
Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we can, can you change? I'm just going to do something again. We give you all the Everything you did tonight every word that is sown in their hearts every work of your precious Holy Spirit let it direct them this year every chains they won't walk with chains for they will walk in glory. They will let others walk in freedom for they have been set free. Be with your people. I put your name upon them. Let them be protected by your blood and prosper inside out in Jesus name <clears throat> Amen if any of you have any if you need any prayers for healing of any sickness you can come and ask and I will pray for you but for now, we'll just put some music on. See, the Holy Spirit is here. You are, you have the freedom to stay in the presence if you want. <clears throat> A lot of times, it is difficult to get into that zone with the Holy Ghost. When you get into that zone, you want to be there a little bit. So if you want to, you can. Or if you want to leave, you are free to go. If you want a prayer of healing, you can come and ask. Or if you want anything else, if you have any questions, you can come and ask me. Or my wife is there. She can always ask her. All right. Thank you for coming today.